Hi, Lloyd Reber here to demonstrate a computer programming experiment I've built. To learn more about this project and how it was programmed, please visit my blog, learninglivecode.blogspot.com. Okay, let me show you how this little experiment works. Now, the question I am asking in this little experiment is, which will process data faster, the use of fields or variables? So the idea is you can use a field or a variable to act as a container for data. And I have a tendency to use fields a lot in my programming and live code. Anytime I have some kind of list processing need, uh, I will typically uh, set up a field, put that list in there, and then I might sort through it, extract certain kinds of, of words or elements depending on certain criteria. And I'll just take those, the list in that field, process it, and put the result in yet another field. Well, it turns out you can do the very same kind of thing, but with variables to act as the container instead. So the question is, which is the better approach? Because faster is generally better when it comes to a, to a programming approach. So to test this question, I have set up this a live code project to uh, try different things out and it times the different operations as it goes. So you can see over here I have a list of words. Here in the gray is the original set but I'm only going to be using a subset. Um, in my tests that I talk about on my blog the test consists of about 1600 words. All of the words have six letters. I'm just using the words from A all the, all the way through B, so it's only 200, 208 words. So let's see how this works. So let me just show an example. Let me click uh, the reset to make sure I've started everything over, and I'm going to click the uh, in the using fields version, the move before. Now what does that do? So let's look. When I click that, what's happening, you can see a bunch of words going over here to the right hand side. Well, what's happened is all the words over here, one by one, were taken and transferred w over to, uh, to this field. And the word was put at the very beginning of the list as each word came over. Now notice that that, that took 7.18 seconds. Let me reset again and I'll skip over to the move after and click and it doesn't quite look the same because the words are being added after the last word. Now notice that only took 4.13 seconds. So you can see there's a time difference. So let's try this again and I'll do the same thing but with variables. So let's, let's move before. Now you're not going to see anything other than the little number here that is uh, showing the words being processed because the words from this particular list over here in the gray were being put into a different container, a container of a variable. So I'm going to reset this one more time and let's try what I think is the most grueling type of activity for the computer to process and that is to move the words before the list that has been added over here on the right hand side but also to delete the words as they are taken from the list on the left. So we use fields first. So let me go ahead and click before, move before, and delete. And you can kind of see now that there's a lot going on because as the words on the left are being taken they are then deleted as they are then deposited on the right hand side. And you can tell this is taking a little bit more time, 14.16 seconds. So let me do a reset and just kind of hold in your, in, your, in your brain about 14 seconds. And I'll choose exactly the same one down here by using variables as my container. Let's see how long that takes. So again, it was 14 seconds when I used fields. Ah, it's about 7 seconds, so about half the time. So you might say, well, Lloyd, it's pretty obvious that using variables is a faster way to process that data. Well, that's a good conclusion, except I went one step further. Let me hit reset. I'm going to hide the two fields and try this again, move before and delete. Now remember, it took about 14 seconds before 
whereas variables took about uh, seven seconds. Let's see what it is now with fields, but with the fields hidden. Here we go. Seems to be going a little faster. And indeed, you can see it's almost exactly the same as when I use variables. So I think in my conclusion is even though I was given some advice that I ought to switch from using fields to variables because it would be a faster way to process the data. This little experiment shows that although that is true, if the fields are visible, it turns out that if the fields are hidden or are invisible, the time is really exactly the same. Well, that's it for now. Be sure to check my blog, learninglivecode.blogspot.com, later for updates to this and other live code projects.